It's a big night of high school sports in our community. The News 8 Highlight Zone starts now. Good evening, I'm Greg Wawrinick. On the final night of the WIAA regular season, we get a game that decides the 2017 MVC champion. With more, let's go live to Logan High School where we find News 8's Brian McLoon. Good evening, Greg. They just turned the lights out on us, but I promise there was a lot of electricity in this one. West Salem has already clinched at least a share of the conference title. A win by the Panthers gives them the outright title, while an Onalaska win forces a share of this year's title. So here we go, Onalaska in the white, Panthers in the black. First possession, West Salem marching down the field quickly, takes only four plays. Nathan Holt from two yards out, Panthers grab the 7-0 lead. On Alaska comes back with a big play of their own. Noah Skifton lost it down the middle to Nathan Labinski. He finds the end zone untouched. 33-yard toss tied at seven after one. Second quarter, more from the Hilltoppers and Labinski takes the handoff, breaks a tackle and he is gone. 21-yard rush for number 20. 13-7 on a leads. Later on, Hilltoppers go back to the air. Skifton Throws to his left, Landon Skemp with the touchdown grab, 18-yard pitch and catch, two-point good, 21-7 game. Then Anna, the charge right before the half, not done yet after a fumble recovery. Skipped in his third touchdown pass of the first half. This one to Ray Heilman for 41 yards, 28-7 at the break. Anna Alaska says, give me a piece of that MVC pie, 42-21 the final. All right, here with Noah Skifton. Noah, you guys are back-to-back -back conference champions. Tell me how it feels. Uh, it feels amazing. Uh, just all the hard work that my class has put in, it, it feels amazing for it to finally feel, finally pay off. And uh, we came out here tonight and we put in the game plan and worked as hard as we could. On uh, the second quarter, you guys scored 21 unanswered points. What was the key to that big run? Um, we kind of just got, got rolling on offense and defense was shutting them down, giving us great field position. And then O-line is doing a great job and I got to sit back and make some easy passes. Okay, so now you guys have the conference title in the books. What will it take moving forward to make sure you guys make a big run in the playoffs? Yeah, we just got to, every week we got to stay humble and uh, every week come to work and practice, get down the game plan and be ready for our next opponent. So back-to-back -back conference championships for Onalaska. The first time they've done that since 1996, 1997. West Salem Conference champs, on Alaska Conference champs. Is there another team that might join them this year? For that, let's go back to Greg in the studio. Thanks a lot, Brian. So yeah, with that on Alaska win, a Holman win over Sparta would mean a three-way share of this year's MVC title. Holman leading by 24 at half. First drive of the second half, Drew Becker adds on to the lead. Sparta ball now. Miscommunication leads to this fumble. They'll try to recover, but it's Holman football. A few plays later, as the fog keeps rolling, so do the Vikings. Kevin Cable with this run, and he takes it all the way in. You might not see it, but trust me, he scores a touchdown there. Holman wins it, 45-23. So it is Holman on Alaska and West Salem all sharing this year's MVC championship. Big game for Central, a win over Toma puts the Red Raiders in the playoffs for the first time since 2013. Central threatening in the second quarter. It's going to be... A throw to the end zone, but Trey Genevico reads it well and gets the interception. Toma looking to use that as Peter Bray finds Kyle Croner for the touchdown. A failed two-point conversion leads the score 22-20 Central. Raiders at it again. Here's Davis dro dropping back to pass and connects to Greg Kohler, but a holding call negates the play. So it's a 22-20 game at the half. Close game, Central wins it 34-32. A city battle to wrap up the regular season as Aquinas hosts Logan. Early second quarter, Logan with a lead and looking for more. Christian Kapanke bursting out the backfield. 52 yards to the end zone, his third already of the game. It's 27-0. Later, look, Logan looking for more. Passes the receiver incomplete, but no, it's a live ball. Noah DeGroot scoops it up, takes off. Blue Golds find the end zone. So that'd be the only trip there for them this evening. Logan with a 41-6 ball game. To the Cooley where GET looks to wrap up a perfect regular season hosting Barroqua. GET with the first possession of the game. A handoff to Benjamin Behan on the counter. And he takes it all the way for the first TD of the game. Barroqua trying to even the score early. Quick pass to Anthony Raffle who pitches it back to Ryan Hanna. Hook and ladder play going 84 yards. 
That brings Viroqua within two, but that would be their only points of the game. All GET once again, 52-6. Second place, Westby at home against Luther. Norseman's first drive, quarterback Alex Gluck escapes pressure and hits Ryan Thames. He breaks free of a few defenders and takes it to the house from 29 yards away. Westby up 7-0. Weather causes a location change, but doesn't slow down Luke or Danes. They connect again for a 32-yard touchdown, makes the lead 14-6, and Westby wins it 39-13. Black River Falls getting a big win over Arcadia, 40-24. Well, two unbeatens left standing in the Dairyland, and they meet tonight. A nice job by the schedule maker, Melrose Mindoro, hosting Independence Gilmanton. First possession for Melman, facing a fourth and one. Drew Blaken with the QB sneak, able to plow his way through the line and into the end zone. Extra point, no good, so it's 6-0 Mustangs. Next possession for Melman. Blaken drops back to pass, but takes off out of the pocket. Going to evade a couple defenders and is off to the races. 34 yards later, and Melman is enjoying a 13 to nothing lead. Following a block punt by Independence, that would set up this short run by Dane Keenan, who lowers his shoulder into the end zone. So it's a 13 to seven game at the half. Second half action, Mustangs start to pull away. Brett Gerds takes the handoff outside, stiff arms the defender, and he's gone. 41 yards to the house, Melman up 27-7. Melrose Mindoro, your Dairyland champion for 2017. 39-13 the final. Bangor goes for another perfect regular season as they are on the road at Cashton. Cardinals wasting no time, just a couple minutes in. Luke Reeder fielding the punt, gets a few blocks, gets to the outside, and he's got Bangor goes up seven to nothing just like that. Bangor would score on their first four offensive plays, including this Drew Johnson pass to a wide open Caleb Miedema for 30 yards. Reader ends up with two punt return touchdowns and two rushing touchdowns. Bangor, a 52 to nothing winner. Hillsboro at New Lisbon. Winner moves to 500 in conference and likely makes the playoffs. The Rockets get on the board first. 77 yard run from quarterback Gunnar Peterson. New Lisbon then will strike again. Everything going the Rockets way early on. Zach Lowe breaks a few tackles. Takes the defense with them for a 37 yard score. It's 12 to nothing. But the Tigers will respond. Here, a 55-yard run by Noah Fila. This ends the first quarter as Hillsborough gets on the board. This was an exciting game. Hillsborough ends up kicking the game-winning field goal as time expires to win 29-26. So Hillsborough becomes playoff eligible. Rivals DeSoto and Ithaca meet, both 4-1 in Ridge and Valley play. Ithaca clinging to an eight-point lead in the third. DeSoto's Trevor Rebound punches it in. Pirates still need to go for two to tie it up. Evan Overby faking the handoff, makes the jump pass to Dylan Chapis, and we are tied 8-8. Fourth quarter, Ithaca trying to keep the Pirates off the board. Bulldogs, Hayden Moser will pick off the pass. This one goes overtime. Ithaca getting a 14-8 win. Coming up, a handful of stops in Minnesota, and can UWL football win at Whitewater? The Highlight Zone, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the News 8 Highlight Zone. Number one in Minnesota, Spring Grove getting a big win last week at Houston. This week, they get their arch nemesis, Grand Medal. Late second quarter, Spring Grove's Alex Foles finds Luke Schneider on the slant for a six yard TD, and the Lions are up 18. Time running out in the second quarter, Grand Medal's Josh Graves throws it up for grabs, and Justin Castle will come down with it. Super Larks get as close as five points, but Spring Grove tightens down third quarter, stuffing the run right up the middle here. Lions add Eight more, and they go on to win 33 to 20. Number one ranked Caledonia at home against Cannon Falls first quarter. Caledonia's Owen King finds Sam Bartvell, who knocked, who does the rest of the work. 16 yard touchdown, the Warriors are up 13. Later on in the first, more Caledonia. Mason Stegemeyer punches it in on the goal line as they go up by 20. And oh, Caledonia tonight, they win it 40 to eight. Number one, Winona going up against Red Wing in the first quarter. Winona's Riley Bostetter fakes out the defense and takes it in for the score. That puts the Windhawks up 14 to nothing. Later on in that quarter, Winona's Terrell Hall weaves his way through the defense and runs it in for a long touchdown. They go up 21 to nothing, and it's all Winona, 56 to eight. Cotter can move back to 500 in conference play facing Southland. In the third quarter, Cotter's us Austin Kerrigan is wide open down the sideline, and he goes in for the touchdown. Ramblers are up 32-12. Later in the third, Potters' Zach Shell gets a handoff, 
and he takes it in for another touchdown. Cotter also putting up tons of points tonight. They win at 59-18. La Crescent and Lake City meet scoreless in the first quarter. Lake City driving. Tiger quarterback Riley Borgschatz looking to move the sticks, but the ball pops loose. La Crescent's Gavin Christensen comes up with the fumble. La Crescent getting their first win of the season tonight, 18-0 the final. I got to take another timeout up next. Highlights between undefeated UW Lacrosse as they play tonight at Whitewater. Back to the News 8 Highlight Zone. UW Lacrosse football playing under the Friday night lights. They bring a perfect record into Whitewater. 5-0 Eagles versus 2-3 Warhawks. Whitewater winning the past 14 contests in this series. First quarter, Whitewater knocking on the door. Drew Patterson takes the handoff and walks into the end zone. Warhawks on the board first. Later in the quarter, Jalen Smith busts a nice run up the middle for 15. However, Eagles offense having tough time in the opening period of play. Defense carrying the Eagles through the first half. The run goes right, but Ryan Weber, look at that, knows for the football, knocks it out. UWL ball. And then following that turnover, starting quarterback Tarek Yegi knocked out of the game with a shoulder injury. The backup Drew David doesn't miss a beat, finishes off that drive with a two-yard touchdown strike to Cal Mazur, ties it up at 7-7 at the half. Right now, three minutes to go. Whitewater has a 21-7 lead. This game started late because of a lightning delay. Welcome back to the News 8 Highlight Zone. Time for our play of the night. MVC Championship game, West Salem on Alaska. Second quarter, Nathan Lipinski having to sit up part of a drive with a shoe malfunction. So on Hardy Weiner's shoes, goes 29 yards for the go-ahead touchdown. Anna, West Salem and Holman all tie for the MVC title. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great weekend.